it, they're on all the time. They play a lot. And when you go to foreign countries, it's still playing currently. People will come up to me and say, how's Cara doing? Did she get into college? It's like, yeah, she's already graduated from college. She's got a baby. Yeah. She has a three and a half year old and she's here with me today and pregnant with a new one, yes. April 1st. So excited. And so is Decker, her little sister, big sister. We're all excited. I don't get to watch it at all. My son decided to try an experiment and cancel real television, so he just gets Netflix. So it's been horrible because I'm behind on my Bravo. I only get to hear about the, the little bits and excitement. I, I did hear Kelly got engaged. I'm super excited for her. It seems like she only met the guy two months ago, though. It seems a little quick, but <laughs> whatever. Which of the ladies do you still keep in touch with? Vicky, Joe. Gretchen Daly with Instagram. I feel like I'm living the life of them with the new baby because she's so good about posting everything. So, um, but Joe, mostly Joe, I would say. She's doing great. She's got a lot of stuff on her plate and she's successful and busy. And I, I don't know if she's in love, but she's dating. She hasn't said anything about the wedding planning. She just got engaged, so. I know they're thinking about it, but I don't know if they've got any plans. I, I intend to talk to her today, though. Yeah, we live a mile away, but we have such different schedules. I eat dinner at six o'clock. She eats dinner at eight thirty. So when she'll call and say, "Let's go to dinner," it's like, "Yeah, no, I'm eight two hours ago." Were you surprised when she became a friend this year? I was very surprised, you know, because she with me was first season. The show was kind of written about our families. I thought we were the first two. And yeah, it was a little shocking, but the girls have kind of gone in another direction. And I can I can understand Bravo, you have to mix it up and have some fun, but I heard she's in a lot of episodes, so yeah. Whatever she wants, Vicky's so successful in her career and in her love life. If she wants to be on the show, whatever, whatever she wants. When we saw you on the show, you and Tamara definitely tangled we, we only tang Tamara and I only tangled a little bit because I told her you shouldn't have your husband arrested he'll lose his job which he did you should just get a restraining order and she thought I was interfering but I was trying to help her he lost his job and it paid a lot of money and that was her child support so I get in trouble a little bit with my opinions but I know a lot about law from real estate and divorce and I know what's what you should do and what you shouldn't do and most jobs have a morals clause Gina too. The new Gina, her husband got fired. She should have had a restraining order. I mean, it's just got to be careful. You know, I felt he needed a voice because of his injuries. If he would have gotten hit by a car, you know, he wouldn't have had anyone. So this way I could make medical decisions. And in about a year ago, he was really, really ill. And he really needed a voice there because they would have pulled the plug. They thought he was, you know, when he came into the hospital, he had no pulse, no anything. So my being the voice, I think, saved his life. So now I feel he's doing well enough that I can divorce him. He's engaged, so probably we'll be getting married. So that'll be freaky weird. Will you go to the wedding? You know, I used to get along with the fiance, but when he got hurt and she had no voice and they only asked me on medical decisions, she got a little upset. But I'm really good at medical decisions. Even if they were married, you should ask me because I know everything. You know that. <laughs> I literally just signed the papers. So I was hoping he would text me this morning and say he'd been in front of the judge and got it stamped, but he didn't send me anything yet. What about you? Do you hope to get married? You know what? I hope to find someone to spend my life with because I love waking up in the morning, having coffee, and going to work out. But right now I have a strong crew of girlfriends. They keep getting married off. But um, I had some fun with Jeff Lewis and Patty Stanger a couple weeks ago, so it's been fun. Oh, from, geez, ask a simple question. <laughs> My favorite memory was our trip to Lake Havasu with Vicky and the whole gang, and it's my children's favorite party too. It was just so much fun and so relaxing to be out of your element. You're in a place with 100 count thread sheets, 
you know, and a TV this big with no service. So just to get away and be on a boat in the middle of nowhere, it was super fun. That was my favorite memory.